guys, welcome back to my channel. It's your girl Jay Speaks here with another video. Please don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe as well as hit that notification bell so you're notified every time I post another video. So let's get right into it. So for those who don't know, I am doing a series of where I'm putting up some videos from some categories in my 2023 goal planning. So yesterday, well, the day before yesterday, I did a um, content planning like what is my strategy what plans have I came up with since I've only been doing this for about two weeks and then the yesterday I did a hair goals um, for 2023 so today I am going to do a faith goal um, I am a Christian for those who don't know where my Christian girl is at hey praise them so I'm just going to go through how I Bible journal and what I'm going to um, change, things I'm going to add, and all of that. I will have my Amazon store link down in the description box that will include all the materials I'm going to be using today, as well as my Bible, um, my pens, notebooks, etc., etc. Um, so if you're interested in how I Bible journey and my faith goes for 2023, please stay tuned. Okay, so starting off with what I use. So again, I have my Amazon store link in the description box. So you can go check that out and have the link to all of the materials that I do use. So these are some soft gel highlighters that I use. Um, not really sure what they cost. I'm pretty sure it was more than like $5, but this is what I use. And I do use this notebook. I didn't get this off of Amazon. I did get this from, I believe, like TJ Maxx or something like that. And you can see the price. I always go to TJ Maxx to get my notebooks like this because they're, you see the price, $3.99, $4.99. Big ones are $5.99. And it's a lot of pages. Really nice for journaling. You can even put the date up here at the top, which is what I do. And then I also like to find these little, um, basically like, already made bible journals that comes with like the scripture up here at the top and then you can journal down at the bottom again i got this from tj maxx and this one was 4.99 so i always go to tj maxx or marshall's to pick up notebooks and little journals like this um my bible is called the my promise bible which i did get from amazon um again it's in the description the link is in the description box i love love this bible y'all love like love it so basically the my promise bible is it's the it's the actual bible but it also it may, its main focus is to point out all the promises that god has made to us so let me open it so make sure you guys can see okay so when we open it here you have so my promise bible you know gives you the introduction you guys are sure already know the the books so basically each chapter is broken down like this so each chapter basically kind of gives you an introduction to the chapter then it gives you a section for key promises and verses to i guess pay more attention to and to look out for and then it came with the the tabs i had to put the tabs on there but it came with the tabs and then you see how it has like these pictures so it's kind of it's like a coloring bible as well which is why i got these um soft gel highlighters because it's like a coloring like a coloring bible as well so sorry i keep looking i'm looking in the mirror to make sure i'm still in the camera but um yes it has it comes like that and each chapter is like this and then another thing on the side it has lines on the side it has lines where you can take notes and then the paper, it does not bleed through. So if you highlight or anything like that, it does not bleed to the other side. And I, I love that because I'd be sending a highlight and a highlight and I'd be mad when it goes to the other side. But it does not do, does this in this Bible. Um, what else? So, yeah, oh, yes. So then again, every, every uh, it also came with a bookmark. And then it came with two of these um, little ribbon bookmarks. And then in the back, is what I what I've been working on lately is so you go here and these are the promises by themes 
So promises by theme. So you'll have like acceptance, anxiety, blessings, comfort, compassion, contentment, like all of those. And then when you go to them, it'll give you the promises that God made to us about acceptance. And the Bible gives you the scripture and all of that. So what I would do was I'll take the scripture, um, take well, use one of these, take the scripture, and you know, go journal about it. But we'll get into that a little bit later. And then it can it it goes on, and then you know. The girl, like I said, the highlighter, like it does not bleed through. You probably can't tell because all these are highlighted, but let me see if I can find one. Like, see, like this. This down here is highlighted, but it does not, it does not bleed through to the other side. And then also in the back, um, you have your index, of course. And then you have this section here that I haven't I haven't actually worked on this section just yet, but this section is called Thank You Lord For. So basically you'll go in here and you'll write down all the things that you thank the Lord for. You fill in this circle and it's so many of them there. Um, this is Thank the Lord For, and then you have a few. Then the next one would be Prayer changes things. So basically, you know, all the things that you're praying for to change or to happen to you. And then this one is my hope is in you. So basically another way to journal about how you're feeling um, after reading some certain scriptures. And then pray for my loved ones. So this is where you'll go and write prayers for your family members, friends, co-workers, you know, anybody that's close to you. And then today will be a prayer for today. Like you'll go in here, put the date if you want like, and write down your prayer for what today will be. And continue doing that all the way through. And then that is it. And this is so cute. I so love this Bible. I like it mainly because of the um, interaction it has with it, with the coloring and stuff like that. Because I know sometimes reading the Bible can get a little, like your mind can start to wonder. So when my mind begins to wonder, I stop and then I start coloring. And when I'm coloring, because I'm coloring like, I'll be coloring basically like the scripture, I will be reading like a scripture while I'm coloring. And then my mind will be like, oh wait, what did what what, what was I just reading? Oh wait, let me go back, let me go figure out what that was. So I get back into, you know, what I'm reading about, what I'm um learning about, et cetera, et cetera. And then also this Bible is I like the way that is broken down. So each um chapter, well each book is broken down into chapters, but the chapters are broken down into like sub chapters or subtitles. So let me see if I can see. So like here and Leviticus 27. So basically the chapter for Leviticus, the, the, the Leviticus 27th um, between verses one to 13 is about gifts pledged to the Lord. And then verses 14 through 34 about rules for gifts pledged to God. So you can always know like what you're reading and like be able to follow along and know what, what it's talking about. So like here numbers, Two, one through 15 talks about the order of the tribes and their tents. So, you know, it's easy for you to kind of follow along and I love that. And then, sorry, my dog is having some another, another mental breakdown. I don't know why, but we're gonna tune him out guys because we're talking about the Lord, okay? Sorry. So that is what I use. I also use like, you know, highlighters, a pen, pencil, nothing's fancy or like, you know, spectacular. So let's get into how I actually start. So before I start my Bible journaling, I always say a prayer, you know, basically asking the God to give me understanding, um, to guide me through the scripture, lead me to the right scripture, the right verse that I need right now. That's meant for me. Help me understand. Um, amen. Okay. So the next thing I do is I do get, I get the scripture. So it depends on what I'm specifically talking about or if I'm looking at something specifically. If I don't have anything, like I'm like, okay, I saw I saw this today. I want to go read about it. If I don't have anything like that, I'll always go to either the Bible, this Bible journal, and I take the scripture that's already here, or I'll go to this, and then I will just start reading the promises. I'll go find a um 
a theme, whatever theme I want to talk about. Um, I kind of do this mostly. This is mostly what I'll be doing in 2023. And I would tell you guys like what my themes are for 2023 and etc. But I would just go find a the theme, go to the scripture, and then I'll start with that Bible journaling. So um, what's next? So after I get this, after I pray, get the scripture, then I take notes. So my notes are basically, let's see if I can break this down. So so like I chose this theme, the theme was acceptance, right? And then I wrote down the scripture. The scripture was Romans 8.31. So then I break down the scripture. Like I break down each line from the scripture. Like I'll take words that I don't know. I'll look them up, the definition, so I can better understand, you know, what's been said. So let me, see, let me find a good one. Find a good one for y'all. What's the good one? So... Ooh, this is a lot. I broke that one down really, really. Okay, this one everybody should know. <clears throat> blessing. So the the uh, theme was blessing. Um, Songs twenty three five. That prepares the table before me in the presence of my enemy. Thou anointest my head with oil. My cup runneth over. Now saying that, you're probably be like, what? But when you break it down when you break it down okay so again i um my notes section so remember i told you in the bible that when doing the books the chapters are broken down into like sub chapters so i always write the title of the sub chapter so i know which you know what um what this whole verse and what this whole passage is about so the subtitle for this one was david's confidence in god as his shepherd that was just the sub chapter title so when we break it down i would just a lot of times i google i mostly google most of it um especially when I, if i don't really understand it there's plenty of websites you can go to like plenty of bible dictionaries you can go to to help you break everything down but when you but i break it down is i underline I basically underline what I'm what I'm, what what part of it I'm breaking down and then I break it down. So basically, uh, let's take well, I can't mm, this part that prepares a table before me. So when we surrender our lives to Him, we find Him able to provide more than enough for us. So it's like that's that first part. In the presence of my enemy, all around are all the demons of hell and the people in your life who hate you the most but cannot touch you anointed my head with oil sheep were anointed by shepherds to keep out deadly bugs god protects us from the things that would harm us it is time out my cup runneth over not only does god provide what we need he always gives more so after i break all of that down i kind of I do like my next step will be so after I did my I did some notes notes and then I'll do research basically looking up the things that I do not know make sure I get a clear understanding of what I'm reading what's been told to me then after that I do a self reflect so I do what can I do or how can I incorporate what God is saying in my everyday life how can I you know you take this scripture take this lesson or whatever the case may be is and put input instill it in me basically a self-reflection so i'll always ask what can i do and i would say thank god every day for the blessings he gives continue to make continue to have confidence and faith in god so that's one of my what can i do for that passage so that probably was a lot but i'm a that's it that's i think that's it yeah that's all i really do so for my goals for 2023, I am going to be talking about my theme for 2023 is going to be, I have six because I think what I want to do now, because usually I would do a scripture a day, you know, do a scripture a day, but I think I want to take more time and focusing on a specific theme. So I'm going to have a theme for about a month or two and then move on to another theme. So my themes for 2023 are courage faith guidance purpose success and work i brought those because i am in a stage in life where i feel like i i feel like i'm getting ready to like god's getting ready to do things for me and in order for them to work, I have to have courage. I have to have faith. I have to know my purpose in life. I have to be able to work and get it done. And 
I need to know how I can do those things. Like how to have those things. I know I need guidance and I know I need to know my purpose and I want to be successful. So it's like, those were just the, the themes that immediately when I started thinking about 2023, like what is my life? Like what do I need in my life? And those are the things that I'm like, I need, I need God to do for me in my life. I need God to give me courage. I need God. I need to have faith. I need God to guide me, show me my purpose, you know, put me to work so that I can be successful, you know? So those are the themes that I chose for 2023. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to dwell them, dwell on them for about a month. I'm going to um, read about them, journal about them, self-reflect, research them, note take about them, like those them. I'm so starting in January. My theme, my first theme is courage because that's the one thing I feel like I struggle with the most. It's just having courage. Like this is just courage in myself. Like sometimes it's there, sometimes it's not. So it, in order for me to be able to basically accomplish the things that I that God has put like he has shown me what my life could be and how to get there and he has started already making things happen because look at me right now I'm filming what my I think my fifth or sixth YouTube video and it's just crazy to me because I've been trying to do this for over a year and because I had so much self-doubt I could not do it and God just said, you know what? I'm going to show you that you can do this. And he said, boop, boop. And I'm like, oh my gosh, like I'm here now. And he showed me the vision. He showed me the way. He showed me how I can use my platform to not only like help myself, but my the main goal is to help others. For you to go and you start your journey, you know, your platform, you know, whatever it is that you want to do, you make sure you that you have courage and you keep your faith and then you know your purpose. So we're on this journey together and I'm just super excited. I'm super happy. I'm so blessed. And thankful that I could I can do this because I, it's always been in me to do this. I just never had the courage to. But now I have a little bit. So now I know I need a lot more to get to where I know God wants me to go. So that's what I'm going to be doing. That's my 2023 um, faith journey, faith goals, whatever you want to call it. Um, that's how I'm going to do it. I'm going to be starting my January off with talking about courage. If you guys want to hear more about my journey or you want me to do weekly updates or something like that, please let me know that in the comments below. Um, I'm not really sure if how people feel about topics like this. Me, I don't care because I'm going to praise him with whether way or not. Like, um, that's what I'm going to do. So, um, yeah, just let me know. I'd be more than welcome to come up here every week or do a live or on Instagram, wherever, and just go over what I'm talking about. We can have like a little Bible study, a little Bible meeting or whatever. Um, I know um, Rihanna Jane, James on her channel, she does have a Thursday Bible study that I'm hoping that I'll be able to join coming up this year. I haven't been able to because I haven't been able to put it in the time, but I feel like Honestly, when it comes to your relationship with God, you should have time. No matter what, you should have time. Whether you have to wake up 45 minutes early to get your little 30-minute session in, then that's what you have to do. Like, that's what you just have to do. And also, another thing that I'm going to be doing is getting back into my prayer journal. And the crazy thing about it is I had a prayer journal. And when, when, when we moved, I couldn't find it. And I just found it a few days ago. Um, in one of the box that we have not um, opened was full of books and stuff. And I went through my prayer journal and the amount of prayers that God had answered, like to a T, like to a T was crazy, was insane. I could, I was just like, oh no, I need to get back to my prayer journal because God, he is, he's ready for me. He's, he's knocking them out one by one. So um, I'm definitely going to be doing that. And what I, how I'm going to do that is I'm going to basically, I'm going to pray for a certain topic or a certain thing or a certain person or whatever for a week straight. For a week straight. I'm going to pray for it for a week straight. Because I feel like when I do pray, I sometimes I pray for the same things for like months. And then sometimes I pray for a whole bunch of crap. And it's just never, it's never, um, 
like I don't want to do the whole you know Lord I just want to sit you know I want to have more of a Lord so what was up with today like I want to have a I want to just talk you know have a have a have a conversation not make it so you know I don't know if you know but if you know you know okay um I want to have more of a conversation just more just talking just waking up and just talking and just letting out what I'm feeling what I'm thinking and then listening for the answers listening for him talking back to me and then going by my day and I plan to do that plan to do that like every for 15 to 30 minutes a day like I have to make more time than just me sitting here doing my we're getting a scripture reading it bible journaling it and then it's like okay now I need to spend more time when while and if that's me listening to a 30 minute sermon every morning before I start my day or listening to a playlist full of Christian music then you know I have to and I need to do better that's all I can say I need I need to do better so I'm going to do better and I hope you guys want to do better with me or just keep or do what you do, you know, just let's do it together. But that is all for this video. I feel like if I don't stop talking right now, you guys already know I'm going to keep ranting and ranting and keep on speaking because that's just what Jay Speaks does. So I'm going to stop this video right now. Again, please comment down below if you want weekly updates or monthly updates or Bible studying or tips, more tips and tricks. And if you have any tips or tricks that you do that might help me or help anybody else, please leave them down in the comment section below. Don't forget to like and subscribe as well as hit the notification bell so you're notified every time I post a video. And that's it. God bless. Thank you.